Hey Wednesday here, and welcome to Nano Overview. This came out of nowhere last week, like no announcement, no news, at least to my knowledge. Anything kind of education based doesn't really get the same recognition as the other stuff on the store, which is a shame because I'm a firm believer that anything that has to do with science and just all the school stuff mixed in with gaming is for the most part mostly a success and this one seems to be no different <laughs> so nano is a scientific adventure game where still too familiar with us there's a suspicious pandemic going on around the world and your job as a trainee in bio research program is to control and interact with nano machines plugged in to the human bodies to fight with the living cells and save the humanity I don't think that ever happened that I was literally just thrown into the human body and interacting with the cells and just the viruses. The immersion part of this game is quite impressive despite its kind of horrorish atmosphere because human body is not nice to look at nor to experience. The graphics are pretty much adequate, there is not much to do with DNA schemes and all of the components since they're a static thing like you you have just one design and you can't go away from that. It's some sort of a real-time strategy where you need to keep the cell X alive in the meantime just catching on additional organisms flying around that are trying to kill you. I just loved the overall concept and the synergy between gaming and education like that's just so cool to experience and you learn a few things in the meantime. So far on the store this is one of the best if not the best execution of that particular genre and I would be more than glad to jump back into it when I'll have the time to do so. <laughs> Regardless if you're like interested in biology, human kind of cells and all of that, to me this is a very fun title and I hope more people discover it. Let's jump to the intestines. Reports are flooding in of people becoming seriously ill in the downtown area. concerns about a new mystery disease popping up across the is caused by a virus that mutates. We've started calling it Pandora virus. Urging you as Pandora virus not to travel and struggle to contain the virus. The the countries are under curfew. Massive protests have erupted in cities throughout the world this week after months of lockdowns and mountain People are dying. Where are the answers? Where are the scientists? Well, that seems familiar. I'm sure it was inspired by coronavirus. Like, hello? Hey, Dr. Frizzell here. Welcome to Outpost Omega. It's a remote bio training facility and one of the few places isolated enough to keep you safe from the virus. With two billion cases and counting, the rest of your cohort got sick or tapped out. So, you are the nanodrone pilot program. Let's get you up to speed. Celex is an advanced synthetic immune cell we designed to track down and eliminate the Pandora virus. How it works is simple. We inject Cell X into infected patients and you operate it remotely. You pilot the nanodrone inside every copy of Cell X using your headset and haptic gloves so you can treat patients anywhere in the world. 10 minutes ago, we injected Cell X into patient 143, a kid named Lorenzo. Almost everyone in his area got the virus, but for some reason, he has no symptoms. We're dropping you into his intestines. See if you can find some insight into how to defeat Pandora. Check out the rack to your left. To grab Lorenzo's data cartridge, reach out and press the grip button with your middle finger. Ew, but also... I love the concept, because essentially this seems to be the future we are heading towards. So like from the scientific perspective, this is pretty awesome. Insert his cartridge in the center console. Looks like Lorenzo's details are synced. Grab the headset to the right and put it on. Get ready. You're about to experience what it's like to be a thousand times smaller than a grain of sand. <laughs> wow. That's the inception. Oh my god. Ew. 
Okay, comlink looks good. Connection is stable. You are floating through Lorenzo's small intestine. Let's hope he hasn't eaten anything recently. What Go the? Ahead and take a look around. Cell X is identical to a real cell. The only difference is you control it. To keep Cell X going, you'll need to produce energy, collect amino acids, and fight off any pathogens you come across. Let's show you how to work this thing. Every cell in your body needs energy. Cell X is no different. Press one of the round thumb buttons to let some in. What? I don't understand the... Nice catch. That's glucose. It's sugar broken down from food. There's tons of energy stored in its chemical bonds, but you need the splitter cluster to get that energy. Hold the glucose into the splitter cluster. Now, take those glucose halves and put them into the mitochondria, to the left of the splitter. <laughs> There's so much science going on. Boom, you're making energy. The yellow gauge on your right wrist shows you how much energy you've got. If you let Selex run out of energy, it'll die. So, be sure to monitor your energy level. Keep making energy until you bank 120. <laughs> I'm I'm Ooh, the mitochondria's generator protein just broke. Don't worry. Proteins break all the time because they get used a lot. Living things have a lot of ways to repair themselves. Let's replace the generator. Look for the wrench icon to the right of the splitter cluster. The wrench icon is Cell X's nucleus interface. You can use it to pull protein blueprints from the nucleus. Put your hand into the wrench icon. To summon the generator protein blueprints, move your hand into the generator circle and hold down the grip button. You got it. That's mRNA, the genetic instructions for making a generator protein. Now we need to translate the mRNA into the protein. To do that, drop it at the ribosome right below. Ribosome. It's like I had to really listen at school what's happening. Nice. Grab that generator protein from the ribosome. What you're holding is an unfinished protein. It needs to be packaged. That happens at the Golgi body, the big blue organelle behind you. There's the Golgi. Drop the protein into one of the drop spots and she'll finish up production. The generator protein is good to go. You can drop it at the mitochondria. <laughs> well done, pilot. We're back up and running. Keep making energy. We still want to get to 120. This is crazy. <laughs> but it works. Amazing. That's a great baseline energy. Let's keep bringing cell X online. The next step is to build the cell's lifelines, the microtubules. They're the cell's skeleton and highway system all at once. To build microtubules, we need structural proteins. So, go to the wrench on the nucleus interface and start making a few. Now, take the mRNA to the ribosome to start building the structural protein. And from the ribosome to the big blue Golgi. I just turned on a drop spot where you can drop the structural proteins to start building the microtubules. Go ahead and drop the one you just made. It's to the left of the Golgi. Great. See how it's growing outward? That microtubule is going to need three structurals to reach all the way to that outer membrane. So you better get cracking on making more structurals. Okay. Great, 
that microtubule is done. We're going to want two microtubules online, so I turned on another drop spot. Oh my god. Amino acids low. Oh, uh, I knew I forgot something. You need to collect amino acids. They're the building blocks of every protein. Check out the gauge on your right wrist. That green number shows how many amino acids you have. You can gather more of them with the lysosome, another of Celex's key organelles. She's swimming around here somewhere. If you see her, reach out and grab her. There she is. That's the lysosome. I call her Lisa. She's my favorite organelle. <laughs> what the right. hell? If you look around the cell, you should see clusters of debris floating around. They're made up of amino acids. Throw Lisa at one of those clusters and she'll gather recycled amino acids for you. Nice, that's how you collect amino acids. If you run low on amino acids, you won't be able to make proteins. So, throw Lisa around to a few more clusters. Remember to monitor your wrist gauge. You'll notice in the nucleus interface that each protein icon has two numbers. The amount of energy in yellow and amino acids in green that you need to make that protein. We should be at a good level now, so finish up that microtubule with a few more structural proteins. I'm being quiet, but I love this. <laughs> it's just so cool. But for me, always synergizing knowledge and just like science and stuff with gaming was always a good idea. Lisa! Excellent work, pilot. The microtubules are the key to interacting with the world outside of Cell X. See those two tentacles out there? You can control them by grabbing the ends of the microtubules. Use the grip buttons to grab them. Cell X is a macrophage. It's a kind of immune cell that uses tentacles to latch onto pathogens, pull them in, and destroy them. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're approaching a gut bacterium. When it's in range, use the tentacles to latch onto it and don't let go. Oof. I mean, our bodies are disgusting by definition, so... Lisa, come down. Nice, you got it. Now, hold down the trigger button to capture. Whew. Okay, we have a second. Every enemy that enters the cell is trapped in a temporary bubble of defensive membrane. Like a mini prison. Throw Lisa to eat it before it breaks out of the bubble. Oh, wow. Excellent first kill, pilot. My scan shows that was a salmonella bacteria, notorious for causing food poisoning and worse. Every time you use Lisa to kill a bacteria, you'll have to replenish her recycler protein. Do that now, in case we find any more bacteria. And I assume we need to build this. Salmonella approaching. If you leave bacteria outside for too long, they'll start shooting toxins at you. So, you know what to do. Come here. Two down. Not bad, pilot. It looks like we might be done here. Let me just go over my checklist. Energy, nucleus interface, microtubules, tentacles, yeah. We should be good for now. Let's go ahead and get you out of... Wait. Stand by. What's going on? Austin, can we get a walk on this? Confirm it's biomarkers. I'm still here. Pilot. You have an unidentified pathogen approaching rapidly. This is priority one. Proceed with extreme caution. We need you to pull that specimen in so we can do a genetic scan. Did 
This might be some sort of a horror game though. <laughs> I'm again. Initiating scan. Oh shit! It's loose. It's loose in the cell. We're gonna lose it. Oh, okay, it's okay. Okay, we're gonna go. Are you still there? Lisa! Uh. Take off the nano drone headset. What the? Hey, I lost you back there. That thing that just killed Celex, turns out it was the Pandora virus. I was able to sequence a snippet of its DNA. It's the first we've ever collected. This is huge. If you can gather enough Pandora virus DNA, we can engineer a custom attack protein to fight it. We're doing our best on this side to locate patients who have survived Pandora and may have genetic remnants left in their system. Many of these patients are now sick with other infections. The mission is to fight off their infections and gather Pandora virus gene fragments wherever you find them. By the way, Lorenzo is in bad shape. The virus is spreading through his system. But the sooner we can sequence the Pandora genome, the better chance we have to save him and countless others. I have a patient on standby already, out of Osaka. Janelle had Celex injected a few minutes ago, so you should see her cartridge on the rack. This is so cool. <laughs> I wish I would explore the station though, can I? Yeah, I'm stuck here. <laughs> I mean, going by my normal mentality, where you just synergize science, biology, technology, everything at once and then put into a game of some sort, you'll always have a success on your hands. On our store, I've never seen anything like this, and this is one of a kind. Probably the best execution of education and gaming so far, because not only you learn stuff, but also you just enjoy and then you have some entertainment out of it. To me, I'm very much fascinated and I'm keen on playing more of it. Graphics wise here on the station, it could be a little bit better with the resolution because I can see pixels flying in the distance. This is not necessarily the main gripe because it's not the main gameplay. However, being inside this drone and a body of other people it's a little bit creepy because the visuals we could get tend to be horrific and like this also scared me like for some reason. But overall concept, execution, I very much enjoy and this is very, very interesting to play. 